First time I heard my song on the radio, I was in my Honda Civic. Uh, I was driving down the street and nothing on you came on. And it was an incredible feeling, man. It was, it was on a big station in California and it was like justice. It was like finally. Man, first of all, I've never even seen Madison Square Garden. Uh, this is this is Madison Square Garden, and um, the fact that I'm in here and I'm backstage, I'm about to go on stage, insane. Thank you, Z100, for making this happen. I feel just as big as the greats right now. Get a close-up when I say that. <laughs> Originally from Hawaii, so the weather right now is a little different, you know? Everyone down there, uh, my family back home, they're wearing shorts and sleeveless shirts and they're at the beach right now. Everyone's all wrapped up over here. And a little crankier for some reason, I don't know why. But other than that, man, it's beautiful. You know, my father's from Brooklyn, so I have a special place and I have a special place from New York. I feel like I, I know people a little better because, uh, you know, the association. Cool, man, he's so proud. I called him, I said, Dad, I'm here. I'm in Madison Square Garden right now. So he's extremely happy for me. If there were no music, I'd probably Man, I wouldn't be breathing. Man, New York is cool, man. New York is, uh, when an audience goes out and sees what they want to see, you know, they make, they make sure that they're getting their money's worth and they're going to have a good time. And I did a couple shows. I did a show at the Bowery Ballroom, uh, you know, some really cool venues out here. And it's been nothing but love out here. And I, I love coming back. I can't wait to do my own show, hopefully one day in Madison Square Garden. You know what? I got Travis McCoy coming out. Um, he's going to be coming out and doing Billionaire with me, and I can't wait for that. Uh, got to do, got to do the songs that are on the radio right now, just the way you are. And I got my my second single, Grenade. I can't wait to premiere it live. Who am I looking to see? You know what? I've never really watched these shows, so I'm with, I'm wanna, I want to see all of them. I want to see a Katy Perry. I want to see Justin Bieber, B.O.B. and do his thing. Like I can't wait. It's going to be fun, man. I just performed on the Grammys. Uh, I, I did an acoustic version of Just The Way You Are and I sat back down on my seat and I didn't know what to expect, like I didn't know uh, how it was going to work if I were to get nominated, you know. I thought in my mind someone was going to float to me with a gold envelope and hand me the nominations. But my manager was actually sitting next to me and they just released the press uh, junket or something and he said, look, and it said Eminem 10, Bruno Mars 7. And I was like, what, what, is it, what are they talking about? What does this mean? And they said, told me I was uh, nominated for seven Grammys in uh, six different categories. And it's just like, you know, I don't know how anyone feels. I, I still don't know how to feel yet. I, I don't know anything else, you know. This, this music thing, I've been working so hard. And uh, the fact that I'm, I'm here, the fact that I've had, I have relationships and work with a lot of these artists that are backstage right now, you know, I, I'm, I couldn't be happier. This is where I need to be. Pops, that's where my style comes from. My dad always told me, you gotta keep your shoes shine, you gotta have your jeans ironed, anything, you know, you gotta be crispy. If you wanna be taken serious in this world, kid, that's what he'd say. Uh, if the girls scream outside when I walk on stage, I'm used to that. That's everywhere I go. I walk outside the street, 34th and 3rd, they're screaming. 2nd and 4th, they're screaming. 